Okay, as you can see, my database instance that I created is now available to me according to uh, our RDS dashboard. So I'm going to go ahead and, and click the expand here to get a little bit of information uh, about this. You can see that uh, it appears to be up and running and as expected there's not too much going on. So I'm going to go ahead and look at the details related to my DB instance. And this is actually going to be the screen that I would like you to take a screenshot of as a part of the assignment uh, that we're, we're doing here. So take a picture of this screen that shows all of these details about your instance. Okay, so the last thing I'm going to want to do is actually connect to my database from uh, an instance of SQL Developer that's on my local machine. So um, you may need to wait uh, maybe five minutes for this to sort of work itself out, but uh, eventually you should be able to connect using the endpoint uh, port uh, username and then this DB name here uh, as the parameters in your SQL developer connection setup. So I'm gonna jump I'm gonna go ahead and copy this endpoint uh, right here off the page and I'm gonna jump over to a SQL developer instance. I'm going to name this a WS test I'm going to use my DBA user that I created my standard password that I never forget I'll click save and then I'll drop that endpoint into the host name and uh, that's the host name out there uh, for Amazon we're going to go with the standard port of 1521 and then the SID that we're going to use is actually going to be this database name you can see here on that detail page. So I'm going to drop that into the SID, I'm going to hit test. I can I've had a success here so I'm going to go ahead and connect to my database instance. And now you'll see that uh, I'm connected. I should be able to um, view uh, any tables. I'm obviously not in a system user or anything else, so there wouldn't be any tables here to see. But a quick test to see that the database is, is operational is to just do a select star from dual, which is sort of a fake table for Oracle. You can see it gives me back an X, uh, so I know that the database is responding to me. And then if I wanted to double check and see some of the system tables here, I could actually use the schema browser, uh, switch over to the sys schema and see that there's a number of tables there available. So uh, for your assignment, what you'll need to be doing is uh, creating a screenshot of your database's detail pages out there on Amazon Web Services. And you'll, you should be able to leave this database up and running because it will not uh, cost you any money to leave operational. And then the uh, pass-fail on this assignment will be whether or not I can uh, connect to your database using the parameters that you give me. So you can either give me your username and password for the base user that you created or you can create a user for me that I can connect with. And then uh, I will use the information that you give me to go ahead and create a SQL developer connection. And as long as I can connect to your database then you'll receive 100% on this assignment. So thanks very much and good luck. And of course, if you have any questions on the assignment at any time,
please feel free to email me and I uh, will reach out to you and we can get together by Skype or phone or however we need to uh, to help you out.